stuffy and not all that exciting was the general summation from this game. Jose Goncalves hitting the bar early on for Hearts, who seemed destined to struggle again this season for goals generally. Still, a third place finish in the league last season proves you don't need to score plenty of goals to get some relative success from the SPL. Hamilton have steadied the ship somewhat after a disastrous start to the season. Here Richard Hastings had Janos Balog flying at the heart score and is fetching luminous yellow. And this wouldn't be the last we'd see of Hastings before the day was out. Hart's opening goal took until the second half to arrive, and when it did arrive, it came from the penalty spot. David Vitavine upended by Martin Canning, the Hamilton defender later claiming it shouldn't have been a penalty and that referee Alan Moore had got it wrong. But if this isn't a penalty, then I don't know what is. Michael Stewart had scored from the spot after a much more dubious looking penalty in the midweek victory over Dunfermline and he repeated the trick here, albeit firing the ball into the opposite corner of the net this time round. Hearts 1-0 up after 56 minutes played. And from wondering where any Hearts goals were coming from to two goals in the space of two minutes. The second came after Hamilton defender Mark McLaughlin conceded the corner. And this is where Richard Hastings makes another cameo appearance, sending the ball towards his own goal, and Suso Santana was there to force the ball over the line. Hearts now 2-0 up and seemingly cruising with just over half an hour to play. But instead of easing to victory, it all got slightly nervous for Hearts five minutes later as Hamilton pulled the goal back through winger Marco Pichau, a fine strike to beat Baloch. And the extravagantly coiffured Portuguese giving Hamilton some hope with 25 minutes left to play. But it wasn't to be for Aki's as Hearts held on for all three points. I agree.